G'day viewers, ever wondered what happened when you stick a 300 kilowatt burner in a pile of bricks? Well here you go. Today I've got probably what could be the world's most basic furnace. As you can see it's just a pile of old bricks I've put together in a higgledy piggledy fashion and I've put my blower in through the side. Had to extend the outlet a little bit with another bit of pipe which didn't really fit but anyway it's all in there and I'm going to fire it up and see how it goes. Hopefully I should be able to get the interior red hot. I can do this with my pizza oven and that's a meter by a meter and a half internal diameter so this that's only basically a brick by a brick should really be a piece of cake. Hopefully you can see the inlet there. I've put a bit of stainless steel on the bottom uh, and that's on the top of a heat proof piece of insulation brick out of a, a gas heater. So might take care of the bottom part. I'll uh, fire it up, get it hot, then I'll uh, try maybe dropping that half melted alternator stator in there, see if I can strip the copper off it and you know what else I can do with it. At this stage it's just a bit of a test to see what capturing the heat and stopping it just blowing straight out can actually achieve. So stay tuned, we'll see what happens. I think after five minutes, it's getting pretty hot. Unfortunately, some of the dodgy welding on my burners burnt through, so I've got a bit of a, an air and oil leak. Makes a bit of smoke, but no big deal. I'll run that over with the MIG when I'm finished and soon take care of that. So as you can see, this is far from an airtight furnace and I'm only using some old house bricks I had around the joint. But it just goes to show, you've got enough power and you can do whatever you need. This is actually running pretty minimal fuel here. I can't give it too much of a look because the heat output is just about burning the skin off my fingers from here. Not to mention probably not doing the camera a lot of good. Cooking with gases for sissies. We got oil power here. Don't think I've had the burner quite that hot before. She's, that's what you really call cooking with oil. So you might have seen the stator from the alternator that I've had a go at melding before. I'll try and give you a bit of a look. I'll throw it in and we'll see what happens. That's what I call oil power. Just a pile of bricks with a big burner in the middle. As you can imagine, it's pretty hard to do anything close to this. It's been going about 15 minutes now. It's so hot I can barely stand near it. I think the bricks are actually on the edge of glowing right through. 
there's a bit of reflection from the burner there but what I'm looking at tells me it's not just that I think the whole bricks are starting to get pretty close to glowing red the burner seems to have sealed itself up now don't know how maybe the weld has remelted but as you can see I'm not getting any more escaping oil or smoke Pure heat there folks. Okay, I've shut the fuel on the burner off. It's just running on the blower now. I'll just leave that to cool it down. I don't want the heat going back in. You can see that's pretty hot in there and it is as hot as it looks. There's no flame at the moment. That's just residual heat. And you might be able to see our alternator stator in there, but it's pretty bright. Like I say, no flame. That is just the heat that's in there. I can get a little bit over the top now, but it's still burning my fingers off. I can see the state is well and truly stripped of all the copper. There's a puddle there in the side, and there's still so much heat coming out of there, even it's nothing but cold air going in. I can barely stand here, and I'm a good three feet away. All that is now is just pure retained heat. You can see here where the air is cooling those bricks off, but you can see also where the rest of them are just glowing. A lot of heat in there. All up, I've probably only used about five litres of oil on that run, if that. Retaining the heat sure does make a big difference. I'm trying to move that state up but it's welded itself to the plate on the bottom. That's going to take a while to cool and before I can get it off. But hopefully that gives you a bit of an idea of um, how it went and I'll do a follow up video tomorrow when it's all cooled down and show you the results. That'll be part two. If you like this and haven't subscribed already, don't forget to do so. And also share this round if you're onto the social media. It all helps and seeing people looking at these things is encouragement for me to keep on and do more. Thanks a lot for watching.